What's up guys? It's Yara Wins. I'm back. Finally back. And we're going sort of back to the future kind of vibe. So as you all may remember, uh, in FIFA 19 we reviewed this guy as a foot swap card. Now I think he was slightly more OP than he is here. But the saving grace is this card is a live item. So if Roma will progress in the Europa League, this guy will get better and better and he may have an amazing card really but it's good as it is at this point in the game and yeah we're gonna get into a review for him so just as a quick note it's been a busy few months so less videos but I'm gonna try and rectify that now so be sure to like and subscribe to the channel and as we get into it I guess the key pro for defenders and the key thing we look at is tackling skill so that will include things like interceptions and stand tackle mainly. So with Jesus, with this particular clip, you can see the good and the bad. So he kind of takes initiative in defending, but in doing so, he can sort of put himself out of position. And in that particular match, I had him on seven chemistry, but I wanted to see if there was a difference. So I replaced PK, who was his partner, with uh, Militao and yeah this is what his stats are on 10 chemistry so 84 pace 91 defending 86 physical looks very good obviously the two star weak foot is a problem but again if we look at his stats aggression interceptions defensive stats heading accuracy he's pretty strong and obviously the pace which is very important so again with his pros He's actually pretty good on the ball. You can sort of spray those passes around. His tackling is solid, as we can see. Mainly stand tackling because I guess that's what we use more often than not. Again, with that, that's a very strange, strange thing where I think that's an issue with his weak foot, which can cause sort of calamitous moments. But again, you can see his pace in that clip because he managed to cover off the sweat opportunity. So of course, that's a main pro. And yeah, in terms of comparing him to last year, as I say, he's not as good at this point. But a lot of the things that he was good at in FIFA 19 are still relevant. So he's still quick. He's still aggressive. Surprisingly good on the ball. And with the fact that he could improve now i'm not too sure about how roma are doing in the europa league but i guess that they probably would get past the group stages so he will get an improvement to his card and you know roma's a good team so if they continue in some kind of good form even if he doesn't play he will still get those upgrades so it could be worth an investment but yeah as i say in terms of an overall sort of rating for him, from what I've experienced very briefly, I probably would recommend him if you have a Brazil team or some kind of hybrid with a Brazil. Maybe you can link him with Alan from Napoli because that's a green link, a strong green link. And yeah, I wouldn't say he's elite. So I wouldn't put him in your teams if you're sort of going for those higher end finishes in a weekend league. But... He is still solid. He probably is worth an investment at this point because there's a good chance of him improving and his card will get a lot better and a lot more usable and a lot more suitable for these sort of elite teams. But yeah, I'll just repeat the breakdown of what I see from him. Strong tackler, quick, aggressive, good in the air and surprisingly good distribution. But obviously with his cons, he can be a bit rash, out of position. And yeah, with the weak foot as well, that could be a problem with passing and obviously distribution. Although in general, if you keep him on his left foot, it's very good. So I'm not going to say he's an ideal centre-back right now, but he's good. Not as good as last year, but still good. So yeah, I would recommend you trying him out if your team allows and... Yeah, for his price, I think it's a it's a decent investment. So, as I say, that's it, guys. 
if you want to see any other particular reviews of any players comment below make sure to subscribe because there will be a road to glory episode out quite soon after this i hope and a lot more content throughout the year so again guys thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace